guys need a ride? Hey, look, if you take that shoulder all the way down to where the... Oh, they're not going to let us. We already tried, tried that. that. Everyone was cutting us up. Hello. Oh. Oh. Hello. Like What's yeah. up? Can you hold me? Special delivery. Okay, don't go too fast. Go too fast. All right, well, we won't. $100 rides. Oh, easy. Oh, this thing sucks. Dude. We're picking up 1320 video right now. We were the early ones this time. This is the exit. <laughs> Dude, this is gold. We found the top secret <laughs> bypass. <laughs> Moose the boys to the rescue. We're hard. probably going to get there the before a location starts. Two minutes. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. We got our secrets. <laughs> the haunted roll. We never follow the rules. I mean, we always follow the What's going on guys? Right now we are at the World Cup Finals uh, in Port Vista, Domestic. We've actually been out here for three days now. This is our third day and I'm just now starting to film something. We've just been hanging out and having a good time. I have not been paying attention to try to film everything. We've just been chilling, doing our own thing, but figured I'd film something on the last day out here and I'll probably make a video of just the rest of the night. Uh, right now we're just walking around. We came out with Emilio, Brent, Roman, his wife, Shane and Brent's daughter Sam and we've been having a great time we've actually been hanging out with Cletus most of the time we've been helping him with Leroy we've been watching him make passes he's broken a few diffs that we've helped put back together yeah, yeah. mostly Brent he's been ripping on Leroy yeah, been but awesome. we've been supporting Garrett and he actually unfortunately just got disqualified against an all-wheel drive Civic uh, not too long ago and he's gonna be done for the night but yeah, I just wanted to film something for you guys. We've had an awesome time. We've met so many fans. So like, many, it's been humbling. It's crazy. That's another reason I kind of put the camera down is because I want to focus on talking to the fans, all that good stuff. But it's crazy. As you guys can see, I got another Real Street sweater because I lost mine. I used to always wear this thing ever since we came last year. But uh, I picked up another one and yeah, how you liking it, Emilio? Bro, this is his first fun. World Cup. So many badass cars, bro. Like, I mean, look at that. That Supra's been. Oh yeah, this this is a Supra that was on 1320. We got some people looking at it, but. Wait. Hey, how's it going? Good. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? <laughs> oh, that is so sick. How's it going, man? Come on, man. How are you? How are you going on? Yo, dude. That's insane. Yeah. I know, man. Heck yeah. Right on, What's up, guys? What do you guys want to sponsor me? Nah. It's rad. Oh, yeah. We're from Canada. We came all the way down. What's up, man? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's going on, brother? Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, man. I got a question. How'd you learn how to tune? How? Yeah. Well, it goes way back. You got uh, time? <laughs> <laughs> he, he needs a chair to sit down. Honestly, you know, with <laughs> with, with, the, with the original DFI the first, and DOS. Oh. Whatever first one I ever tuned was yeah. my own CRX on DFI, Excel DFI, uh, Gen One, like the first nice. engine management that was out there. Yeah. So. Before, um, Apexi, uh, oh yeah. Before, before all those guys. Yeah. Yeah. DFI yeah. yeah. was terrible. Yeah, we, we would actually. Yeah. Right. It was on DOS. Exactly what I'm talking about. We've been getting stopped everywhere, so we're just taking our time to talk to the fans, but it's awesome. This thing is gnarly. 8 Series rear wheel drive Civic. It's such a beast. This so guy, he went 7 0 at 198, letting out. That's so, so crazy. 
It, it's so mint. Look at it. Look, same motor as the hatch, and it goes almost sixes almost in the sixes. quarter. Yeah. It's insane. And they're still just working it out. They've never even got a clean hit out of it yet. This thing's so fast. This thing. Guys, the cars that are out here are unreal. Like, it's insane. This thing is amazing. Hey, man, oh, what's, what's up, man? Hey. Hey. What's going on? What's going on, man? What's going on, man? Yeah. man. Picking up a ride with the slowest Integra. <laughs> <laughs> you, know the, you know the worst part about today? I lost to an Integra. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yep. What'd you What'd you run? I, I, I broke transfer. Yeah, I didn't. We, we broke transmission against an all drive Civic. So you guys yeah. know my feeling. We both lost to our own love. <laughs> <laughs> the irony. <laughs> I yeah, got something else I forgot to mention, English Racing, breaking the Evo records. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, we, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. You guys are tearing it up. We're trying to go fast. You know? Yeah. Oh, and not trying. You guys are. Both of them still run. Hey, that's the Evo awesome. after, like, all those 48 second passes and shit, it all still runs. That's rad. Yeah. The Evo 10 still runs too, but it just doesn't move very well. <laughs> <laughs> very cool. Big yeah. Nice, man. We'll see you guys. Thanks for the 30 foot ride. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and Speed Factory. I didn't film oh, that, man. but Speed Factory went tense. 215, 215, 215 miles an hour. Just because I was a 7 at 215. <laughs> also, something else I picked up while we're out here. Uh, this company called Hub City makes these drive shaft adapters that adapt the Wago drive shaft to the K Series transfer case. Uh, this is the part I told you guys that I needed, and they had some down here, so we picked up a few of them. We actually picked up three. One will go on my Wago one for a customer car for Brent for his EG that they're doing and then Roman got the third for his EG hatch as well so we got those so when we get back I can uh, take Wago over to a drive shaft shop get my drive shaft uh, shortened and then this guy will just go right on and adapt that and Wago will be ready to go so that was cool that a guy had those down here he also makes um, trailing arm all-wheel drive kits for EKs and I think it's EKs and EGs and a lot of the all-wheel drive civics right now are running them out here and uh, he was talking to me. He's really cool and he's willing to like work with us in the future if we want some all-wheel drive stuff So something to think about. Yep. But yeah, we got some of those. So that's pretty sweet um, Wago is gonna be all-wheel drive all -wheel once drive. we get home. Yeah, he's no great. more front-wheel drive stuff. Yeah, all-wheel drive. Yeah, well, eventually all even will be. They really made some nice nice pieces. So it'd be awesome. Yeah, I wish he brought out his car his yeah. EK hatch. It's yeah. Amazing. He brought it out for H day. So clean. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Well, they brought out Elvis's or whatever, the silver one. The gray yep. One, and it was flying. Yeah, and then the tile all wheel drive Civic. Yeah. Yep. The Garrett race went 7 5. Hit the record. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, the, the Civic that Cletus was racing broke the all wheel drive record. Yeah, yeah, it's nuts. Alright guys, so a fan of the channel came by earlier. We were with uh, Leroy in the staging lanes getting ready to watch Cletus make a pass and he came up to me with an H series intake manifold and he wanted me to sign it. And then we signed it, me and Brent signed it, and then what is it like maybe four or five hours later, later in the day, he came back asking if I wanted to buy it because it's for an H series and they could tell that I really liked it because when he handed it to me I was like, dude, this thing is sick and I've been looking for a nice H series intake manifold and uh, long story short I'm getting an intake for the hatch and it already has my signature on it so ready to rock it's a Gato intake with a uh, k-tuned 80 mil throttle body has a speed factory four bar map sensor this thing is sweet and the best part right here under the tape two injectors per hole total of eight injectors he also has the fuel rail along to go with it right there with the AN fitting fuel lines. So it's pretty legit. So I really appreciate it, man. Yep. This thing is sick. We said you only were going for like 700 on your car, so. Dude, that's sweet. But yeah, at some point once we build a new motor for the hatch, throw that bad girl on there. 
awesome. You said your name was Blaine, right? Yeah. Blaine, and how far did you guys drive? Uh, Columbus, Ohio. About seven and a half hours, eight and a half hours. And you brought that literally just for just me to sign, sign it? Yep. Damn, Blaine. that's crazy. Yep. That's nuts. That's when me and him first met you. So that was our second year going. Yeah, oh, nice. Oh, ended up buying it. <laughs> well, thanks, man. He's struggling. On the right side. Vamos arriba. Hey, was hell, bro. He's just on my strong three tall. So we're leaving right now. Like I said, didn't film too much. I had actually planned on filming more and making a full video about this, but we ended up just hanging out, like I said, talking to fans. And I'm going to end this video with some things we did to the shop that Emilio hasn't even seen yet. Yeah, Emilio hasn't even been to the new shop yet. I don't even know what it looks like. I know as much as they know. I know it through the video. And they probably know more than you. Because every time that you guys go there, I'm out of town or doing something, so. Well, he'll see it soon enough. But uh, yeah, we uh, got there and we uh, we flipped this like angle iron over for the oil pit so that we could drive lower cars over it so it's not sticking up. And I'm just gonna end this video with uh, that clip. That was also gonna be a whole separate video, but I just didn't uh, really finish it because we spent all day on one thing. So I didn't feel like it was that entertaining, but I'll put this stuff that I just got in with that. But yeah, I had an awesome time at World Cup and uh, enjoy these clips that we got at the new shop. Later. <laughs> okay. What's up guys, over at the new shop. Drove the 240 over, right now I'm with Hayden. Uh, he was letting me borrow his truck to bring some things over. Right now it's just me and him. Uh, Brent and Jamie were here earlier, they actually Brought a little something over on the trailer. Got the dyno over here. It's starting to become legit, but uh, yeah, I was just dropping some things off. Uh, thanks for letting me borrow the truck. You like it so far? Yeah. The shop? It's pretty. Gave Hayden the, dude, the grand like, tour. It literally is like a, a fantasy factory. Dude, it's pretty like, sick. With, with like this up there, like you can look over, it's pretty nuts. We should get like a, like something you can like jump off that into. A foam pit. Oh, that'd be sick. Yeah, you should get like a slide. Yeah, that'd be sweet. But first time Hayden has ever seen the shop, and uh, he's actually getting ready to get out of here pretty soon. Um, and I'm just gonna stay and hang out, clean up a little bit until either Brent or Jamie comes over here. Then I'll probably continue after that. I also brought some tools because I want to try to see if we can uh, make this grate right here for the oil pit uh, flush. I want to unbolt this uh, angle iron and see if it's possible, if I can just flip it over and have that grate sit flush. If not, I'll probably just have to get some new angle iron and re-weld some things, redo it later on. But that's what I'm gonna do in the meantime until some other people show up. But yeah, I already brought the shopping go-kart over, just brought some tools, some basic things, brought a power washer, I'm probably gonna hook that up and start spraying some things down. Brought one of Brent's go peds that he left at my house a while back, so. Got Lucy over here. Loose. Trying to make sure she doesn't eat any yeah, rat poison. Yeah, there's, there's all mice over the place. poison everywhere. <laughs> Don't eat that. You're gonna get sick. Need to get a shop cat for all them mice. Yeah, we need to get a couple cats in here. There's so many mice running around. That one's like a new one though. This one? Yeah. yeah, they updated that one. Yeah. It could just be like a different style too, maybe like I guess you know, I haven't never looked at the opener in our shop. Like I've never even seen what it looks like. Yeah, what that do, it's because we don't, dude. What the fuck? What am I talking about? Ours is manual. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I've never seen it. <laughs> I was, oh, I was That's real saying, old like, school. Like, like I wonder if. <laughs> Like I wonder if it's like an industrial style like opener, you know, for the big door. Oh yeah. I wonder if that's just how they look. Probably, but that one's that either. one's probably one of the OGs. Yeah. That one's an original. Yeah, definitely. Has like a belt and pulley, whereas this one has a new chain. That one's obviously newer. Yeah, it looks a lot nicer. Oh, it was me. Is it you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You can drift it if you want. <laughs> What's up, dude? 
There he is. Are you excited? Yeah. I'm so pumped right now. Look Whoa. at her. Oh yeah, it hey, makes that good. noise. Yeah, I got the important thing. I got a ladder. And I got my bike. Oh, <laughs> yes. You know, things that matter. When did you guys get the dyno over here? Um, like one? One? Yeah. one? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Now I just need to dig a hole. I was like, yeah. I was like, we just gotta get it. We just gotta get it to get it. <laughs> oh yeah. He doesn't need this store anymore. We got a place. <laughs> She's back. She's back. Oh god. 0.5 horsepower. <laughs> I'm so pumped. One Brent power. Are you pumped? I'm pumped. <laughs> you gotta be pumped. Dude. Like, should we ever leave? Yeah, no. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe all these events he need to come to us. Bring his bed and I believe it. <laughs> We've been talking like crazy about it. Just live here. Yeah, how else would you dump it? Solid. They welded a, so this is one big piece of angle iron, and then this is a little piece of angle iron upside down. And it's all welded. Yeah, so it's all one big piece. Yeah, so they- Every bolt has to they, be they bolted all the, this angle iron down, and then they welded all the little, all the way around. All the way around. It's all one piece. Yeah. That's gonna be really just heavy. All the way <laughs> really heavy. Yeah. Oh, oh damn! <laughs> Like, what do we have to lose? We don't care about the board. <laughs> <laughs> right? It worked. It sure did. We had the battle to lose. <laughs> That's what I was worried about. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now we gotta do the side. Yep. Just start yep. the jack and we'll just hit the front corner again. Because that was the trick. Thanks, man. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Hey, Woo! hey. <laughs> Sam, get on that side with him because it prize that. That's. Oh my god, there's such a big spider. Oh, dude, that's a black widow. Literally. Oh Yo. my gosh. She's a beauty though. Holy crap. That's a good looking spider. That's a black widow. That's a really, they're good spiders. I'm not gonna hurt it, but. No, don't piss it off, it'll definitely bite That you. is a black <laughs> widow. She's gorgeous. Hold on, let's bring her over here. Holy crap. <laughs> Damn, look at that. Can see the oh my god! I haven't seen a black widow in so long. I don't think I've ever yeah, seen yeah. one. Most can see the, the hourglass. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're like the most beautiful spider. I used to have a pet one, and I'd feed it crickets. What? I think I think they're gorgeous because Charlotte's wet. Yeah, the black widow. I always thought she was awesome. Uh, you don't want to get bit nuts. by that guy. <laughs> yeah, no. I just take her out to the dumpster. Oh gosh. She can get out there. Want it? <laughs> Damn, look at her go. Look at her go. Oh my gosh. Charlotte's web. Literally. Yeah, I'm gonna go let it outside. That is so nuts. I'm kinda glad I saw that. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> that went up your pant leg. Right? Oh, it's about to bow it. Yeah, I'm on the flip sides. I think you can go further down where it's stuck. Oh, there it goes. Maybe not. <laughs> She's free. Oh, dude, that is not half free. Yeah, that, it is so heavy. You're gonna need a lot of people. That's what I thought when I grabbed it. Oh, dang, walked in great timing. Nope, we got two. We need your help to prove this, it's on the page. This is a big operation here. Oh gosh. Getting the dyno unloaded. Yeah. It's going down. 
That's it. There's his wheelie bar. That's how he's keeping it up. Oh yeah, it's keeping it planted down. Yeah, I'll look at sink when he picked it up. Yep. Alright, so earlier before Brent got here, I took all of these plastic pieces off of the oil pit. These covered the oil pit right here. And as you guys know, this sits elevated higher than the ground a couple inches. So we won't be able to drive any sort of lowered car over that if we wanted to. So we went and took all the nuts off and we had to bust this thing free because it was like embedded in the concrete. This thing hasn't probably been taken off in over 10 years. I mean, even longer than that ever since the building was built. So we finally got that piece off. That was kind of hard to break free, but we got it. We went over to Home Depot, got some uh, cutoff wheels and we are gonna go through and cut off all of these old studs right here because they're not symmetrical, they don't line up perfect. And what we're gonna do is we already flipped this upside down so that this side of the angle iron now sits uh, lower so it will be able to sit in ground. And then we are going to uh, put it back over the concrete once we get all the studs cut off and we are going to run a concrete drill bit through all the existing holes and they're gonna have some new studs put in. We'll hammer those down and then we'll be able to put new nuts on them and then should be ready to go. We also have to trim this end over here because this is too wide to fit down into the pit. We're gonna just have to cut down there, cut down there, and we're probably not even gonna use this end piece. We're just gonna use the side pieces, but uh, we'll get them mounted up, and then we can kind of clean it off, get some stuff repainted. All right, so we got all the angle iron flipped over. We got some new studs drilled into the concrete, got them all bolted down. And right now we're working on putting the plastic pieces back in. Uh, because of the way we flipped them, it's a little bit more narrow and we have to trim a little bit off the edge of these to make them fit back down in there. Uh, they already did these two right here. They just cut the ends off with a sawzall. And as you can see right here, that's how much it sticks over. So you just gotta trim one little section off and then it will sit flush, but yeah, it's coming out really good. Now it sits flush, so we can drive some slammed cars over it when we need to. And then once we get them all put back in, we're probably gonna power wash them off. I wanna take my angle grinder and clean off this metal all the way around, get it ready to paint it later on, make it look nice. The pit needs to be cleaned out. There's a whole bunch of like water and probably some oil in there. It's all mixed together. I don't even know what's down there, but we need to clean that out, power wash all this out, but we're getting there. Another one. Damn, there's all kinds of black widows up in here. Not the straightest. That one's not the straightest. We have to clean some of that up. <laughs> that needs cleaned up. Man. See if it fits, bro. I like the other side better. I mean, that is not gonna fit. That's pretty blind. He's saying that. Those are That's a black widow. Fuck you up. Oh my god. Roman's not about it. Fuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuu
No. Tom, you get over there. Or actually, Shane right there. Tom Hold right there. Hold on, now Shane, Shane and there again. Anthony right Watch. there. Shane there again. Scoot it over this way more. Okay. Towards the, uh... No. No, you want to see someone fly? That shit. Go back on there. Cannonball. And now both of you. Together. Oh, no, no, I'm going to go side by side with him. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and then you get both on, like, no, three, three, two, one, go, me. and you both Damn. jump on it together. Three, two. Yeah, <laughs> 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 